Hi, my name is Mark Tacna and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. This video, I'm going to show you how to clean a VCR. Now, why on earth would you want to learn how to clean a VCR? Let me give you a quick scenario. You find a big box of VHS tapes. Then those VHS tapes, bunch of your childhood memories, but you come across a tape that doesn't have a label on it. Uh-oh. You would love to be able to get all these tapes transferred by a person like me. But you don't want to just give all the tapes to them because you don't know what's on this, right? So you get anxious, you run to the thrift store, you buy yourself a $10 VCR. Nice. Now you think it works because it's on display and it says that it works, but you don't know if they actually cleaned the VCR. So you bought the VCR, you bring it home, you plug it in, you stick in this V. HS tape and the VCR eats the tape. It eats the tape because the heads weren't cleaned. Nothing was cleaned and you want to avoid that. So let me show you how to go ahead and clean a VCR. There's a few things that you're going to need to clean your VCR. You don't need everything, but I'm giving you a wide variety. Uh, dust off cleaner. Now you can use rubbing alcohol to clean the heads or you can go out and get yourself this audio video printer tape head cleaner. You could also use um, audio video printer rejuvenator cleaner. This is for the plastic parts and rubber parts. Get this out of the way. Use a Q-tip, cotton ball, or you can use these special PEC pad cleaners that I use. First thing we're gonna do is take the screws out. Now the screws vary depending on VCR. This one has it on the sides. Here is the inside of a VCR. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your dust off and clean the inside. You wanna do this first because when you clean everything, you don't want to then spray it down and get a bunch of dust particles on stuff you just cleaned. You can use rubbing alcohol and it's perfectly fine because you're just going to do this one off. But rubbing alcohol, if you use it a lot, it's going to start drying the plastic and rubber parts and make them crack like this plastic and that plastic. So because I do this a lot, I'm going to use this special tape head cleaner. And I'm also going to use my PEC pads. The PEC pads are non-abrasive. So you just want to get the pad a little wet. The first thing you can clean is this head that spins. This is what picks up the video signal. You can see these little holes right there. That's where the si signal is being picked up. There's one there, one there, and that's what gets clogged with dust. So I'm just gonna put my finger on it and clean it and just spin this head around. So you could also use a Q-tip, but the things with Q-tips and cotton balls, they can leave little fibers and you don't want fibers left over. So you can just give that a little wiggle right in there. Next thing you're gonna wanna clean are all these little metal parts. Just rub it up and down. I'm not touching the white plastic. And there's sensors right here. There's a black sensor here and a black sensor here. Almost all VCRs are built the same way. Now I'm gonna use this cleaner and rejuvenator. This is for the plastic. So the rejuvenator, what it does is if you hit rubber, it helps put the moisture back into the rubber because rubber dries out over a period of time. So I'm gonna clean this white. That's just about it. Here's a rubber. You can clean this rubber right here, but I don't think it does much of anything. Okay, once you're done cleaning all of the parts, you're gonna let it dry for a little while. 
You can just sit there and let it dry or you can get a hair dryer and blow it off really quick. It only takes a couple of seconds because it is rubbing alcohol, really. So here's the, a VCR tape. So I think you can see by this angle, it's hitting this metal, running across the black sensor here. It's coming up and around this white, hitting this metal piece, going around the drum, back up, going over this metal and the white, coming back down and hitting this sensor here. We cleaned all of it. The VHS tape came out nice. And that, my friends, is the simple way to clean a VCR. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. Have a wonderful day.